Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is September, which in my eyes is officially fall, even though it does not feel like fall here pretty much ever. If at any point it does, it will be like November, December. But anyway, it is fall in my eyes, therefore the house needed to be decorated like fall. And so I spent some time decorating. I got some new stuff from Target. I repurposed some of the things that I've had, you know, like collected throughout the years and decorated the house for fall. So I'm gonna share that with you now. This is what the living room looked like before. I like pretty minimal decor, so I normally don't put much on the coffee table or anywhere else really. But I did have these honeycomb shelves. They're hanging shelves that I got off of Etsy. And I have them decorated normally with these artificial plants. You know, pretty nice greenery and some flowers for spring. But for fall, I do like to swap that for some fall foliage, some, you know, fall colors, like a little orange-ish, yellowish colors, just because we don't really get any of that here in Florida. And then I also updated this blanket ladder to include this blanket that is actually from Hearth and Hand. I think it's from like a couple years ago, so I don't know if it's still available. Again, this is a media console, pretty simple decor, pretty straightforward, you know, just some greenery, candles here and there. But I did swap this for some pumpkins. I actually saw these pumpkins again this year at Target, so they're definitely still around, even though I got them last year. And I also put this centerpiece in the middle of it. It actually is with some candles, battery powered candles. So I actually really like that because I can repurpose them every year. It's not like they actually burn. And it's just really nice and simple. And I love that the pumpkins are white and just the different colors that it has. And like I said, I pretty much didn't have anything on the coffee table before, but now I got these two books from Amazon and I'm using them as coffee table books. They're just really pretty and work with the decor. So I'm using those as a base to elevate this artificial flower arrangement with a pumpkin and a candle as well. And I did use this little beaded decor to wrap around it just to add a little bit more. I always decorate this tray depending on the season, depending on the colors going on. So this is what I had for the spring summer, but now I swapped it all for fall colors. So I have this beautiful artificial arrangement that just really reminds me of fall based on the colors. I added these ceramic pumpkins that I got at Target as well as a pumpkin candle with a crackling wick, which I absolutely love. And I'm just a big fan of these colors to be honest. And this coffee station is actually brand new. I didn't have this before, but I decided to add this and I got all this at Target and it just made it really nice and special. So every morning I can make some coffee and tea and the mugs are just so nice and relaxing, pretty fitting. This was what the dining room looked like. Again, pretty simple, minimal decor. I really don't add too much to it. It just has this little centerpiece with some artificial flowers, but I completely change this and elevate it for the fall. And I add these fall foliage, you know, this little arrangement that goes in the middle of the table. And then I actually got these candles this year. These are brand new, as well as these um, candle holders. And I'm actually pretty obsessed with the gold tones and just the way that it makes it look so much fancier and elevated. It actually makes me want to host a dinner party here, which is exactly what I was going for. I also add these pumpkins. These are all little pumpkins that I got at Target. And I really, really love just how it really just feels like fall. I don't know if I will actually light up these candles, but at a minimum, they make for a nice decor. And here's a little bit of a close up of all the, you know, decor that's going on in the table. Last but not least, we have the stairs, which, you know, normally just occupy the role of being stairs and helping us go to the second floor. But during the fall, I like to wrap around this fall foliage or garland, whatever you want to call it around the stair rail and then I also like to put these pumpkins and this little decor in the bottom so it really feels like fall and like you're in a pumpkin patch so to speak. Okay well that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that this got you a little bit inspired to decorate for fall if you haven't already. I'm gonna try to link whatever I can in the description. A lot of these things are actually from previous years and so not everything is available anymore but I will link whatever I can find and like similar items if I find anything. Anyway, hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time!